Welcome back everyone, Krothaus here again. We're gonna go ahead and tackle the UCE jump. So let's get that uh, import into our project here. Uh, import it in. All right, so now let's go ahead and open that readme as usual. We have no like crazy errors popping up, so that's a good sign. Uh, but we do have a bunch of core changes to make, so it's not game breaking. Uh, if we don't make these changes, your jump's just not going to work. So we want to make sure we get these in here. We can collapse jump, though, because we're not going to have to do anything with the jump itself. It does want us to open up the player scripts. So let's find that under scripts and open up player. All right, and now all this changing is going to be primarily done in the state machine. So we're going to copy the first section here of the locate this line, and we're just going to paste it in. So if event move start and we're gonna find this and that's gonna be where we need to start out so grab that and we need to put that blue text right at the bottom here so we got our first set of blue text we'll go to the next step and it wants us to find the event st uh, trade start now keep in mind there is one right here but this is not correct uh, if you look at the code uh, in the comparison they are not the same so this is the wrong one you need to scroll down and it's in the actual update moving here. Here it is. So this is the key difference. The reset movement here is part of that. So we're gonna go ahead and put on our blue text again, right at the bottom. And then we'll go to our next step. Our next step is telling us to add a state here down. And this is gonna be in the update overall server side. So we're just gonna scroll down past all of these. You can also do the quick find if you want, but it's here in update server. And right underneath dead, it wants us to put the jump state. So we're gonna do that right here, enter and paste that in. Then we're gonna to go to our next step and it wants us to go ahead and find the else if for trading. And that is here in the update client. It's just right down at the bottom right here. And it wants that our jump, so we'll go ahead and add that jump in there as well. Enter and save that. And I, I hate when it puts this auto space in, that's just me though. Um, is what it is, they, they all did it, I can't fix it now. All right, I'm not gonna mess with that, it's not worth my time. Now the next thing it wants us to find is going to be the float horizontal when that's getting set. Now I just scroll down a little bit, it's in the movement. To find it real easy, we're just gonna put it in here again, take us right to it. So this is the WASD handling. And all we want to do is add our jump handling uh, blue text there, right here, and save. And then our last thing is to make sure our animations work. So if you add a jump animation, it actually shows up. So that one we're just going to find by grabbing the locate this, and there it is. And we're just going to put this blue text right underneath that. Save out our player script. We can close it. Minimize that, let it compile everything we just did in there. I mean, collapse that. So that is pretty much it for what we need to do here. We will, we can go ahead and toss in the animation. I don't have a jump animation to use, but that's fine. We'll go to prefabs and entities and players. And I don't know, just click on the warrior once and then go to your animator so we see the warrior. And we don't have anything in here for jumping, so we're just gonna go ahead and, I don't know, what's gonna look really weird? We, I guess we could do a normal attack for a jump. That would look funky. Uh, do that one, I'm gonna call it our jump. And we're gonna create a new bool over here called jumping. And I like to move it up by the rest. It, it's part of the state, so it should kind of be in the same location. We'll make a transition from any state to jump, and we'll add a condition on this transition line called jumping, and if it's true. And that'll add in our animation. So whatever animation you want, you can just drop it in here and make it, it'll play, be beautiful. We'll come back to our scene, we'll hit play, and we'll get in here and we'll hit server and start. And here we are, we're a player, we jump, our funky animation plays cause you know, it's wrong and we shouldn't be attacking in the breeze, but we are. 
like so. So jumping is effective. I want to jump down this cliff side. I'm going to jump down this cliff side. It does not matter to me. I can't get up this cliff. I will jump up this cliff and so on. So that is the essence of UCE Jump. You are now able to add in a little bit of physics uh, to your game, even though you're running on a nav mesh, jumping is still possible. And just like anything else, you're just going to add in a object with a collider for collisions, so it blocks the player from jumping through it. If you want them to be able to jump onto something, like we are in this scenario, like I'm jumping on these rocks or down these rocks, I'm jumping back up you need to make sure there's obviously colliders here for it to work just like any other normal physics so you can always check out a bunch of uh, unit tutorials on how uh, physics works if you want to understand that a little bit more all right i will catch you in the next one